Oh, good day, boys and girls. Welcome back to the channel. Today, it's a scorcher. It's supposed to be close to 100. I want to keep some food cool whenever you're camping, let's say. Got the set powers, uh, DC refrigerator, solar panel, Dokio. Recommend them. Uh, for the money, you can't beat the things. And they even come with a charger and a little kit with them. But uh, I digress. Let's get back to this. We're not using any batteries. We're not using any chargers. We're just running this bad boy straight off the sun. There's no clouds to interfere today. So we should be able to run this thing all day long in the sun. Let's get after it. Every once in a while, in your old age, you gotta just pull up your pants a little bit. See this thing right here? Makes the old pants slide. But as you can see, we got the panel out. Just gonna take a couple more things and we'll be uh, getting this cooling off. All right, I'm back. It's a jump cut, but let's get started. Did you miss me? I know you did. Let's get after it. Got a couple items here. Let's start hooking this up. All right, what do we got going on here? I got the wire going over to the panel. That came with the panels. It came with XT60, this uh, Dokia 300 water. But uh, I'm probably just gonna need 200 watts. On a good day, 100 watts. 100 watt panel, this uh, refrigerator here, you'd think it would pull a lot, but it only pulls 55 watts of, uh, of uh, power. So 100 watt solar panel, on a good day, you're gonna get 65, 70 out of it. But it's gotta be a really clear day. But the 300, it's gonna have no problem. You see her? I don't know if you can read this. It's so bright out here today. Oh my gosh. There's the voltage. Okay, it says 12.1. Panel is 18 volts. This doesn't like, actually it does like 24 volts, but 18 volts is in between the limits of this to go from 12 to 24. I wish it would do everything in between 12 and 24, but it doesn't, but that's okay. Because what I got here is a buck, a buck converter. It takes like 24 volts DC, 18 volt DC, and it regulates it down to 12. And it's pretty, you know, this is saying 12.1. And by the way, I got this, I bought it for like 12 bucks. It has USB ports three cigarette ports got it for 12 bucks and then put an XT connector on it so I can just mix and match everything I got here to make it work so uh, let's say in 12 volts let's plug it in and let's give her a go All right, I moved everything behind the solar panel because I'm telling you what, it's hot out here. This is already up to 82 degrees, 83, but look, it's already coming down. Now, with the load, I'm down to 11.5. Now, what you gotta do with these refrigerators is you have to uh, 
set it to the low setting. They have a low, medium, how, how low do you want to draw your battery? Well, car batteries, you know, fluid, uh, lead acid fluid batteries, they don't like to be drawn down a lot and then brought back up. So you can set it to cut off higher, lower, or higher, medium, or lower. I put it on the lower setting so it'll take this lower bolt because even though it's 12 volts being converted by that, once you get it under load, it's going to draw down. It's going to draw down that power. But again here, you know, this is nice. For 12 bucks, you know, you put the uh, old XT connector on it. And it's saying 11.9 over here. So it might have some cable loss too. I don't know how accurate these these are. But yeah, let's see. We'll give it a while. I'll let you know. But you know, I got it in the shade. That's one thing nice. See, I'm back behind the uh, solar panels, the old uh, Kia. You know, 300 watts for $300, along with the charger kit and everything. I highly recommend them. The set power, it's been working out. It's been working out tremendously. But uh, yeah, you can hear, it's very quiet, this uh, set powers. But uh, we'll let it sit, it's empty. So whenever it's empty, it takes, it's gonna take a long time to cool off. So. We'll come revisit this and I'll tell you how long it took to get down into the 40s or, you know, 30s. Alrighty, so I put the uh, DC current meter on here and we're pulling four, four uh, amps. So four times, you know, 11 or 12 and that'll give you what kind of, uh, so right around 50, you know, like I said, 50 watts to run this, uh, we should be fine. Okay, on the, the panel input side, I'm bringing in 5.5 amps. And uh, so yeah, it's, it's a little lossy on it, but like I say, we got plenty of power with that Dokia 300 watt panel. You know, we're gonna have no problem keeping up with the four amps or five amps that it wants to have. I believe this is a 10 amp. This is a 10 amp, so we're well under the 10 amps. So this thing won't be getting hot or being uh, overdriven. And you can get those on eBay, or Amazon for about $12. Say $12 for the kit. Get yourself some XT connectors so you don't have to mess around with uh, butt connectors or anything. And you can swap it out on the fly. And of course, uh, the multimeter here, which is not, let's see what we're drawing here. It's, it's the old, I shouldn't turn sideways. It's the old Astro A, I wanna say AI. The Astro AI CM4K0R, or OR. And yeah, it has, I'm a wreck right now. It has the uh, DC. Got to make sure you're going to pay a little bit more for the DC, but this was only about 38 bucks. So, and a, a lot of people use these and they highly recommend them. So, yeah, no problems with that meter so far. Okay, it's just been a minute or two. We've come from 83 down to 81. Again, I'll set a timer right now at 81. We'll see how long it takes. One more thing, boys and girls. I started this test at 8.15, so sun is, oh my gosh, it's, it's not even 9 a.m. So it's a morning sun. As you know, in life, the higher the sun gets, the more powerful it is. So we're having no problems. Oh my gosh, it's good to be out of the sun. I'm sweating. Listen. It's gonna have no problem, you know, running, running that. Now you can't do this on a cloudy day because if you had clouds, it would turn off, turn back on, turn off, It'd be a pain in the butt. But on, you, if you're going camping and uh, the sky's looking like that, no clouds, heck, why, you know, why waste cycling your batteries 
whenever you can just throw this out in the sun all day long. And if you're really worried about that low voltage, that, you know, running at 11 volts instead of a higher voltage, uh, higher the voltage, the less amps you're going to pull. But like I say, we're fine. But uh, this device right here, this one costs a little bit more. It was like 20, 20, 25 bucks maybe. And with a screwdriver, where am I at? Right there. You can adjust that. I adjust this one to like 14 volts. So it's running like a car uh, would be charging. And uh, you can use this. I wanted to show you the cheap method. I'll throw this in line and demonstrate it to you at the end of the video. All right, coming up on the five minute mark and we're already down to 74, we dropped 10 degrees. I'm thinking 30 minutes we'll be down in where it's uh, stopping around 30, but let's find out. All right, 10 minutes in sitting at 67 near the end we'll take these panels i'll just throw them flat on the ground because you know the sun will be up a little bit higher but I'll, I'll just throw those panels straight on the ground and see if we can keep that refrigerator i know we will i'll get 100 watts out of these and all i need is 50 watts to run a refrigerator but i'll get 100 out of these we'll throw it we'll toss them down on the ground just to show you that you don't need this fancy oh by the way go check my, my video i took a satellite one of these guys right here oh the sun's bad let me get out of the sun here people i took one of these got it free the gas stations don't use them anymore they use like uh the internet that comes straight to their building now they don't use satellite anymore to run their uh, credit cards and stuff like that but so you can get these free if you ask around i just took that and i welded up a mount go check out my video on a cheap solar mount or diy solar mount and you'll uh you'll find that sucker right there all right 20 minutes in and we're sitting at 53 degrees already guys i want it's it's time to run a scenario by you let's say you're out and you're driving down the road your car breaks down battery's dead you've been trying to start it battery's dead your refrigerator ain't working and uh what are you gonna do well if you had that solar panel you could just throw it out hook up your refrige and you know it's only 8 30 we'd be drinking 50 degree beer already but by nine o'clock you're drinking cold ones down in the 30s you're drinking cold ones in the 30s while you're just waiting for your buddy to come you know you know your buddies you can't trust them they might be out three four hours later well you don't want to be drinking hot beer so right now you're drinking cold ones waiting for your buddy to come pick you up on the side of the road you, you wanted a scenario, why would you ever do this without a battery? I'm giving you one. All right, we are at the 30 minute mark and we're already down to 42, which is really refrigerator, you know, temperature. Oh, down to 41. We'll let it go for another 10 minutes and we'll stop this test and uh, I'll be able to tell you we were in refrigerator range in about 40 minutes. And it's 90 degrees outside, so not bad at all. Also, with that refrigerator running cooler, it's only drawing like 2.4, so like 30 some watts now. So the cooler it get, gets, the uh, less amperage it's pulling. All right, we're about 38 minutes in. See, we're not drawing any amps right now. Refrigerator, you see the voltage pops back up to it because there's no draw on it. So we turned off at 35, so 38 minutes in and we we uh topped off the refrigerator well there you have it people let's just wrap this up it's not even nine o'clock yet so even in the morning sun i was able to cool that refrigerator off with that 300 watt panel 200 watt you'll probably be all right too but i'm just saying i got the 300 it's a good deal uh i'm i'm hot i'm sweating but my refrigerator's cool and yeah if i had a cold one in there i'd be starting to drink at nine o'clock in the morning but not today i'm not camping but look forward to i might get the solar chuck wagon out and uh, take it out there and uh, do some cooking with it with my uh, budget diy solar that i uh 
just posted with a regular car battery. Cheapo way to go. Uh, might go camping with the solar chuck wagon with that and uh, give her a try. So yeah, I wanna thank you all for joining me and have a great day. See you on the next one. All right, a little bonus footage. See, yeah, this is putting out 14. This is reading 14.4. Again, it's not running right now. So I might draw it down to maybe, you know, 14, 13.5. But if you're worried about voltage being at a little bit higher level, then spend an extra 10 bucks. Get one of these guys here where you, and this is a 10 amp or two. And uh, you can adjust the voltage up to a higher, higher level. All right, one more video here, flat on the ground. It's going over here. And yeah, she's bringing in 14.4, working just fine, even though they're just sitting flat on the ground.